Hi everyone, I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, a Senior Interventional Cardiologist from Care Hospitals, Hitech City. What are the precautions or what we should do when somebody gets a chest pain? That we should see. See, most of the times our people ignore uh, thinking whenever you get a chest pain, they ignore thinking that it is a gastric problem. First thing, whenever you are falling under high risk category, that means if you are a smoker or if you have diabetes of longer duration or uncontrolled, or if you have uncontrolled hypertension or BP of longer duration or if you have uncontrolled cholesterol or if you have uh, overweight or any of these risk factors are there, you fall under high risk category. When somebody for, with the high risk category is having some any discomfort, the chances of heart problem will be very high. Otherwise also, any men have high tendency than women before the age of 55. Men will have very high risk. Women will have lesser risk till the age of menopause compared to men. So anybody with a chest pain, discomfort or burning sensation, first thing you need to inform to your family members and whoever is nearest to you, you inform them that you have chest discomfort or some breathing difficulty. Next thing, reach to the nearest hospital where the treatment can be given. Third thing, once you reach the hospital, after analyzing your history, they will take the basic investigation like ECG, 2D echo and blood investigations. Initial ECG may be normal in 20 to 30 percent of the cases. So most of the times what we do, we take an ECG. So if it is normal, we ask the patient to stay and after half an hour to one hour, we will be repeating the ECG. So because sometimes the second or third ECG may be revealing the heart attack. So we need to wait till the heart attack is ruled out. Once the basic investigation like ECG, 2D echo and blood tests are normal, then still we have a suspicion, then we will do a treadmill test. Then or CT coronary angiogram to rule out any blocks are there in the heart or not. So whenever you get a chest pain, don't waste your time because first few hours of heart attack are very important because if you reach the hospital within 3 to 6 hours, you will get the maximum benefit. If you, get, if you reach the hospital 9 to 12 hours, you get the least benefit. After 12 hours, the heart attack will be major. Most of the times you will not get any benefit or the benefit will be least when you reach the hospital more than 12 hours because the entire heart muscle will get damaged within 12 hours. So it is always important to reach the hospital as early as possible. Especially if you have a hospital where the primary angioplasty facility is there, if you reach there, they will do the angioplasty and stenting immediately. If you don't have a facility or it is far away, immediately go to the nearest hospital at least they will do a thrombolysis treatment which will be very helpful when you are not able to reach a bigger hospital. That will be very helpful. Thank you.